come out. You know, it's been a long time since I've done this. So first, let me explain my voice. I am having oral surgery done Monday in Salem afternoon, in the afternoon. I need to have seven, yes, seven teeth removed due to an abscess right here. I'm I can hardly even open my mouth. This is as big as it gets. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should show the abscess. Has anybody ever posted an abscess on YouTube? Ooh, wow. for tooth still no no okay Um, well, long story short, I began back in early June. I remember having a strange pain in my ear. I don't know what was going on. So, what the specialist in an audiology clinic in Salem looked and slipped an endoscope and she could tell that it was dirty, but it, that, that far she could she recommended a mineral oil. But I didn't have the money. I didn't even know where to go to find a mineral oil. I mean, that's generic recommendation. Um, then days pass, I just, you know, it's, it's really kind of hard for me to try and determine when to see a doctor or dentist. I mean, I'm sorry, I just, in terms of my teeth, I've never really been the best. In terms of my dental hygiene, the, tra the history clearly speaks for itself, I'm sorry to say, I mean, here, let me see how I can... Hmm. Hmm. See down there, it's my lower left jawline. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. See at the time I thought there's something in my ear. But I can't remember. Where I tried cotton swabs, rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide. I even had a wax pack, which I got for free from Walgreens, thanks to my points. And it was a, on sale at the time, anyway, so that helped at times, but. Because I would like wake up the next day feeling fine, but then pain would quickly regenerate and reappear. Um, and also, unfortunately, just in terms of this kind of pain, it's hard for me to try and schedule an appointment with my doctor because, you know, generally my feeling is that even if I did speak to her on the phone. She um, would probably tell me 
Okay, I'll see you in like one or two weeks or nine days from now and this, this day and time and even I try my, I try, would hopefully try my best to rearrange re re my daily habits or visitations and chores around it. There's also the question of what is my work skills are going to be like that week? Because it's really not a 9 to 5 job. Anyway, um, pain really got to a excruciating high over on Saturday, no, yeah, literally a week ago. I was on my way to work on the bus and I could just, just the pain of my ear was just irritating me. Surprised I managed to go to work, just managed to go to work, stay there, and kind of grin and bear it. I, I did see first aid, but they had, not, they had nothing there for me. They don't even have an otoscope. But some woman was very generous and gave me three Advil. That's, that's the ibuprofen. Um, what was funny is that when I was leaving work, I got on the bus, sat in the back seat. I like, I suddenly fell asleep, I fell asleep, 5, 10, 15 minutes later, I wake up, and the pain was gone. And granted, there have been some days, most recently in the last week or so, where I just couldn't get any sleep because of this ear pain, of this pain that I thought was in my ear. So, Monday morning, I went to, I was, I went to the hospital in Portland, a hospital, and long story short, I had to go to the ER, try and get a prescription. I just wanted somebody to look inside my ear, at least for an oscope again, and at the time I was told it was an inflared eardrum. However, at the time, they never looked inside my mouth. I never, I never said anything. I mean, I was, I was speaking like this, but I never looked inside my mouth. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the pain was coming from in here. I mean, there are times I wondered, is this cancer? Is it the same thing that Valerie Harper has? It kind of felt like a gallstone. Oh, gosh. Um, not that I know what a gallstone feels like, but I'm, you know, gallstone, kidney stone, it's you know, the point. It's like having a little pebble lodged in a it's like, oh, like, like having a rock lodged in a funnel. You know? Um, so, um, thankfully my schedule changed so that I was able to come back to my city, um, on a Wednesday. But even by that time, I was so fatigued that I just pretty much stayed in bed. And you know, I, had, I think I had some kind of uh, microwaveable compress thing that I was trying to keep this cold because so it was hot. I thought, well, chill out with coldness. Um, anyway, um, so then on Thursday, I was trying to go to West Salem Clinic, but I wanted to get my, my errands done first, and I had a problem at my bank, which kept me from getting there, from getting to the clinic. I thought they closed at 5 or whatever, but... So I thought, I don't know, maybe... maybe that was like Friday. Uh, I had a friend, actually, take, uh, Thursday take me to the hospital in Sal uh, the hospital in Salem, but waiting was, and I did fill out a little paperwork, I had me on file, but waiting was so long, I wanted to get back, I was getting tired, it's about 11.35, we headed back home, because I knew somebody had to get up at 5.30, yeah, so, um, this Friday, I communicated with my mother, 
I mean, I, I alluded to her before, earlier, but where I, when I was at the hospital, and but we, me and my mother met at at, at a clinic at a clinic in what um, at eleven a around eleven a.m. at eleven o nine. I saw my doctor, and not only did she look in my ear, she looked in here, and she then realized realized something that my a good friend of mine suspected that it was that on Thursday abscess. Yes, yeah, she was pointing out how something like this was a pain like this can can actually go all the way and affect a blood line or a blood vessel that goes to your ear. My mother's very concerned that it could go to my could could go to my heart and kill me. My that good friend of mine very concerned that it could affect my brain. So, um, we then went to, where did we go? Yeah, we went to, I went to my dentist in Salem, who was able to take x-rays, and finally saw the whole picture. I mean, this was something that I really wanted to get to the hospital. And, um, then we went to an oral surgeon that day, you know, referral after referral, and, um, I'm scheduled to have oral surgery Monday afternoon. Um, I just want, I hope they knock me out total with anesthesia. Just I don't want to, you know, the oral surgery is like any other surgery in this way. I don't want to, I just don't want to a chance of killing anything I haven't seen anything. I mean if I can only open my mouth this much, like six what, six millimeters, six centimeters, I don't know. They clearly are gonna have to knock me out so that they can probably open oh, no. Get in there. Um oh I will point out that, that when I went to the hospital in, in Portland I was given two initial prescriptions, one of which included ibuprofen. Um, once I was, once I saw my professionals and medical professionals in Salem, they gave me three more. But so nowadays I can start, you know, it's not as excruciating as it was a week ago, but I know it's still there. It's, it's something that needs to be removed. I even wish I could like pull it out of my ear, like a I don't know, like it was an earwig or insect. You know, it's, it's, I even thought that's what it could be. I was actually yawning, deliberately you know, yawn. I was able to yawn like right around Fourth of July weekend, thinking that I was my eardrum needed to be needed to be proper. And the prep, you know what? The reason for the pain going from excruciating to painless in that Saturday a week ago is all because of the pressure. Yeah. Weird. Um Yeah. I'm just even starting to wonder why my son I felt like I was producing more saliva than normal. Okay. Um um, my, in terms of food, it sucks, because, well, I mean, it doesn't really suck, I can pretty much consume liquids, I've had smoothies, i got some yogurt, actually the yogurt is best, thank you, Yopai, and, um, you know, I've had protein shakes and water, etc., soda, maybe, you know, so, um, what I can say is, look, I'm <laughs> I thought I was immune to something like this. I mean, I, I know I had, I could have bad breath, but I could never sense it myself. Sorry, I'm not, I mean, I carry my, um, I tend to carry my toothbrush and toothpaste with me, but when, you're on, when you take a, as many breaths as I do, you always worry that you might miss your stuff. So, Yeah, um, all I can say is, thank you, Romney. Thank you, 
Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Your care takes care of somebody like me.